So first, if we want to be a disciple, we want to make sure we have the proper tools. One of those tools is we need to make sure that we die to ourselves. We need to learn to die to ourself and trust God with your life fully, completely. You see, when you're rock climbing, one of the, one of the, thing, one of the pieces of equipment that you trust is your harness. You have this harness on. Susie suggested that I try to put this on. I'm like, nah, I don't think so. I, 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 if I get it on, there's a good chance I'm not going to get it off. And, and so I'm not going to fumble through that. Sorry, hon. And, but this harness, you put it on. I barely know which way is what, which way, which, which way it goes. But one of these loops here, uh, the rope is going to go through. And if you slip, if your grip kind of, you know, you slip out on your grip and you let go, this harness is attached to a rope that's attached to the mountain. It's going to catch you. It's going to catch you and it's going to save your life. Man, we need to learn to trust God with our lives. Too often, we head out into life without the harness of, of, of Jesus in our lives. See, this harness will save your life on the rock wall. When we trust God, it's actually going to save your life when you trust him with every part of your being. See, Paul says this in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. See, Paul says, it's no longer I that lives, but, but it's Christ that lives in me. Can you say that about yourself this morning? Can I say, you know what, hey, it's no longer I that lives, but it, it's Christ that lives in me. Like, it, it's Christ that lives in me. It's, it's Christ that I've trusted my life with. That it's not my plans, it's not my desires anymore, but Lord, it's your plans. It's, it's your desires. It's, it's your thoughts. Does, does Christ live and control, and, and, and do you give control to God? Because he's not going to take it. It's something that we willingly need to give over. Say, God, you can have control of my life. Where you go, where you lead me, I will follow. See, too often we look to dying to self as a bad thing. It's not. Dying to self is not a bad thing. Because sometimes, so um, Susie mentioned how about six years ago we resigned at our church as where we were youth pastors in Illinois, about 40 minutes outside of Chicago. And when I knew that God was calling me to be a lead pastor, I began praying and, and, and we applied to many churches and, and I, we, I, I said to Susie, I said, you know what, I really don't care where we go. I just want to follow the calling of God. But I applied to everywhere except for the Northeast and the Northwest. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, mm, no, I, I was born and raised in Canada. I've, you know, dealt with the cold my whole life and, and, and I'm okay. So I didn't apply to any churches in the Northeast or the Northwest. And, and slowly, uh, as, you know, the, I went through several interview processes with several churches and just nothing was working out, nothing was working out. And I said to Susie, I said, well, I said, I think we might need to open up our horizons. I think God's closing some doors. And, and so I know I might not be excited about going um, back, or not back, we were in Chicago, but going further north into the northeast. I said, but I feel like it's something that, you know, maybe that's where God is calling us. There's a reason nothing else is working out. And so we began applying to different churches, and then we, you know, saw this church and, and applied. And let me tell you, I, I died to my plans, because my plans was like South Texas or Florida. <laughs> Like, that was like, Lord, like, I want to pastor a church right on the beach. Like, I know you have one for me. But I was like, you know what? My plans, my thoughts, my desires, they pale in comparison to you. Sure, it might have been nice, but you know what? I look back at the last five years and watching my girls grow up here and, and develop into beautiful young ladies and you know, as, as Susie and I have been able to pastor and, and love you guys, like there's nothing that I would change. At the time, it felt like I was dying to myself. But let me tell you, there's no place I'd rather be than right here in Marcy, New York, leading this great church of people who love God and, and who love people. You see, at the time, it might feel like you're dying to self, but when you kind of get through that and say, God, I'm just going to trust you, I promise you, you'll never regret it. 
You see, nothing about what Paul said about, you know, about that scripture I read in Galatians that, or, um, yeah, in Galatians, where it says that it's no longer I that lives, but you that lives in me. Like, there's nothing about what Paul says that suggests half-hearted Christianity. There's nothing about it that suggests half-hearted Christianity. See, it's all or nothing. No holds bar. I'm jumping in both feet. Lord, I'm going to die to myself, my desires, my thoughts, my plans, and I'm going to give it to you. Lord, what do you have for my life? What do you have for my future? What do you have for my family, for my marriage, for my kids? I'm going to trust you with everything. And this is what Jesus was trying to get across to the crowds where they said, you have to take up your cross and then you have to follow me or you can't be my disciple. Jesus was saying, you need to die to yourself and you need to trust me. Yeah, you symbolize and what you think of as the cross right now, it's a horrible way to die and it's gloom, it's torture and you have all these negative feelings about the cross, but just wait. Just wait. And Jesus changed everything when it came to the cross. Because now the cross is a symbol of grace, of love, and forgiveness. It's going to cost you to follow him. But God wants you to die to yourself and trust him with everything. 